Cuban mercenaries rebelled and killed Russian regiment commander. Cuban mercenaries fighting in the Pokrovsky direction in the Donetsk region killed their commander of the 428th Motorized Rifle Regiment for humiliation. The Atesh Telegram channel reported the traffic agent from the headquarters of the center group of troops of the armed forces of the Russian Federation noted that the reason for the execution was regular humiliation, beatings and confiscation of salaries from migrant workers from Latin America. The direct executors of the execution have already been transferred to the Rostov region of the Russian Federation. The command of the regiment appealed to the general staff with a request to replace foreign mercenaries with Russian soldiers. The mercenaries added that such situations arise in the enemy army from time to time, but they do not become publicly known. Across much of Cuba, the economy has ground to a standstill as the communist-run island reels from a sharp drop in tourism, spiking inflation and renewed U.S. sanctions. In places like Santa Clara, a city of around 250,000 people with frequent hours-long daily blackouts and more horses and carts on the road than cars, there was seemingly an unlimited number of disaffected men to recruit. For months, hundreds of Cubans have quietly left the island to fight for Russia in its war in Ukraine, chasing promises of money and Russian citizenship from shadowy online recruiters. The open recruiting threatened to set back Russia's relations with their former Cold War ally Cuba. Since the war began, Cuban officials had increasingly echoed Russian propaganda that NATO aggression was to blame for its invasion of Ukraine. Russia, in turn, sent more shipments of crude oil to the island and promised greater foreign investment. Still, Cuban officials appear to have demonstrated forcefully that they were refusing to become directly involved in the war by allowing their citizens to serve in the Russian military with explicit Cuban state approval. For those Cubans fighting for money on the other side of the world, their choices now seem to be exile in a war zone or prosecution and a lengthy jail sentence back home. Така вже четверта колона за сьогодні. Зустрічаю, везуть АТРи. АТР першої категорії, значить, це вибухонебезпечні, це най... найнебезпечніша категорія. Так що хлопці везуть, везуть боєприпаси в Україну. Так що чекайте, допомога їде. От так от. Так що все буде добре, все буде Україна.